first thought that comes to your head is, you know, am I going to die from this? You know, how long do I have to live? That's a question Warrenville Fire Chief Andy Dinah asked in 2010 after learning he had cancer. Being 46 years old, um, obviously I was scared. You know, I had a young family, you know, I was married and, uh, you know, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to turn to. Ultimately, he chose his brothers and sisters in fire services. Now, after 10 years in remission, Dinah is the one people turn to at the Illinois Fire Service Institute. I go there and I teach a specific class just on cancer uh, prevention and awareness. He's not the only one working to keep those who protect us safe. Dr. Farzana Masood's research helps firefighters cut back their exposure to carcinogens. It's not just that they, they are breeding these chemicals and they are also being exposed to it in different ways. Firefighters are exposed to every different kind of cancer through breathing, through their gear, and through exposed skin. They can take it to their family and their family and then the whole community can get exposed to it. Through their research and leadership, both Masood and Dina are making a difference for the next generation of firefighters. It's a very rewarding uh, task. Don't be afraid, right? We're here for you. We are here to help. And Dinah's advice to other firefighters facing a cancer diagnosis is to open up to other service members, talk to your mentors, and there is a firefighter cancer support group, and we've shared a link for that on our website, WCIA.com. He says that support group was so helpful for him.